Business editor Richard Southern joins us now. A lengthy dispute in the grocery industry is over, Richard, and those who love their salty snacks are pretty happy about this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, the great potato chip, you two doesn't, the great potato chip stare down of 2022 is over, Erica. Uh, brands like Cheetos and Doritos and Ruffles will soon reappear at Loblaws. You haven't been able to find those Frito-Lay brands at Loblaws for about two months. Uh, what had happened was Frito-Lay uh, wanted to charge Loblaws more uh, for these snack uh, chip brands. Loblaws said, no, we're not going to pay the extra money. And so there was this big standoff, but it apparently has been resolved now. A Loblaws spokesperson declined to comment, though, on exactly how this was resolved. It's not just Pepsi-owned Frito-Lay. A number of suppliers, we've heard, have been fighting to get retailers to take on more of the burden of inflation. You know, we've seen pressures from uh, the cost of freight, uh, the cost of packaging. All that has gone up, and all these retailers, uh, all these producers want to pass the cost on to retailers. Uh, Loblaws didn't want to do it. But good news is, Erica, those chips are back. It was a scary two months there. <laughs> it was. Okay, business is booming for those who work in a very particular part of Canada's fishery industry, Richard. Yum, a lobster, uh, Erica. Um, you're going to have to pay up for I mean, lobster was never cheap, but apparently prices are approaching a record high right now. And we're getting into lobster season out in Atlantic Canada. They say the price could exceed $20 per pound, something that's never been seen before. Uh, lobster prices have been on a steady upswing, though. It's not just inflation that's pushing lobster prices up. That's a big part of it. But, you know, when the pandemic hit, uh, people had some extra money kicking around. They weren't uh, eating out as much. They weren't traveling as much. And what did they do? Well, consumers bought lobster to eat at home more and more. So we've been consuming a lot more of this. And as economies start to open up, the demand for lobster has just increased. Uh, again, save your pennies uh, for your next lobster roll, the price to potentially exceed 20 bucks per pound, Eric. Interesting. Okay. And finally, we found out last week that Elon Musk has bought a significant share in Twitter, but it looks like he won't have as much influence as we originally thought, Richard. Well, we thought he was going to join the board of directors after he bought 9.2% of the company's stock, Erica, and it was all set to go, but it was announced uh, this morning. No, he's not joining the board of directors after all. Analysts think the unexpected U-turn could signal maybe a more aggressive approach from Musk towards buying Twitter stock. Maybe he wants to buy more of it. Uh, one particular analyst said uh, he thinks the likelihood that Musk takes a more hostile stance towards Twitter and further builds his active stake is quite high. Since news came out about Musk taking that big interest in Twitter the other week, uh, he's taken to that social media uh, to tweet about how he wants new check marks for those that pay for Twitter blue. He also mused in a now deleted tweet about how Twitter should use its San Francisco headquarters to house the homeless. Twitter stock was up today, bucking the trend in the technology sector, Erica. All right, thanks, Richard. That's business editor Richard Southern. Thank you.